In this video, we will study the pathology of neuroendocrine tumors of GIT that are also known as carcinoid tumors. So grossly, they appear as intramural or submucosal masses that create small polypoidal masses. So they are pretty much similar to all other tumors of gastrointestinal tract that arise from the walls of the gastrointestinal tract and they grow to form a mass that resembles like a polyp. So intramural or submucosal masses that create small polypoidal appearance. Now as far as microscopic features of neuroendocrine tumors or carcinoid tumors are concerned, then you have to remember two points that how do the cells arrange and how do the cells look like. So as far as the cellular arrangement is concerned, these neuroendocrine tumors actually exhibit a variety of patterns. They may be islands, they may form trabecula, they may form strands, they may have glandular organization or they may appear as sheets of cells. So really these cells of neuroendocrine tumors can have a variety of arrangement. But as far as their characteristic cellular morphology is concerned, they are composed of a scant pink granular cytoplasm with round to oval stippled nucleus that is also known as salt and pepper chromatin. So their cytoplasm is rich in granules. So you can see here that the cytoplasm is abundant in small eosinophilic granules. So remember the point that there is pink granular cytoplasm. And as far as the nucleus is concerned, it is round to oval in size just like this and it has a stippled appearance. For example, if this is a nucleus, then inside the nucleus there is stippling or stippled appearance. This stippled appearance of nucleus is also known as salt and pepper chromatin. So salt and pepper chromatin is characteristics of neuroendocrine tumors. So let me summarize all these features. As far as the cellular arrangement was concerned, it was arranged in islands, trabecula, strands, glands or sheets and according to the cellular morphology, they have a pink granular cytoplasm with round to oval stippled nucleus. This appearance is also known as salt and pepper chromatin. So this concludes the pathological features of neuroendocrine tumors of GIT or carcinoid tumors of GIT.